So this is class 10th constructions exercise 11.2 seventh question. Draw a circle with the help of a bangle. Take a point outside the circle. Construct the pair of tangents from this point to the circle. So here as we have drawn this circle from, with the help of a bangle. So first of all we have to locate the center of the circle. So to locate the center of the circle we will first draw two chords of a circle. Draw any two chords anywhere in the circle right. So you have to locate the center first. So first of all draw any two chords of a circle and it can be anywhere right. So these are the two chords I have drawn. Now center of a circle lies on the perpendicular bisectors of the chord. Okay, so when we will draw the perpendicular bisectors of these chords, let us draw perpendicular bisector of first chord. So it will be like this. So we are drawing perpendicular bisectors. So let us do it once again from this side because arcs are not intersecting. So this is the first perpendicular bisector. So this is the perpendicular bisector of first chord. So we will join them. Right. So this is a perpendicular bisector. Now we will draw perpendicular bisector of second chord. So like this. See, so this is the second chord's perpendicular bisector. So, you have to remember one thing that center always lie on the perpendicular bisectors of the chord. And to locate the center, we have taken two chords. We have drawn the perpendicular bisectors. Now, the point where these perpendicular bisector meets. So, it is meeting here. So, this will be the center of the circle. So, center of the circle can be located through perpendicular bisectors of the chord. Where the perpendicular bisectors are meeting, that will be the center of the circle. Now, this becomes a simple question now where we have to take an external point A and from this point we have to draw the circle as we have done in the earlier question. So, what you have to do, you have to, so the method is join the external point with the center, draw the perpendicular bisector of Perpendicular bisector of OA. So, perpendicular bisector from O we have drawn arcs. And then from A we will draw arcs. So, we will do it like this. So, in this way we have drawn perpendicular bisector of OA. So, it is like this. Now the perpendicular bisector is intersecting OA at point. That point will be the midpoint of OA. So through M, I am taking that point M through M, draw a circle with radius AM or MO. So we will draw this circle from center M from center M and radius AM draw a circle so it will be like this so we have drawn one circle now this circle is intersecting our circle at two points let the two points are P and Q. So join AP. Join AP. And AQ. 
so these are the required tangents to the circle so these are the two tangent so we can write ap and aq are required tangents that's all thank you very much